Welcome dear creatives. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this trending padded headband design that is showing on your screen. You need your fiber, you need your trimming. This trimming, I got it from the lace material that um, I'll be wearing with this headpiece. So I will just use this part of the lace as my trimming. Yeah. And then I have this bridal satin material and the measurement of this bridal satin is 27 inches by 12.5 inches okay i'll be using that to make the bow at the back of the padded headband then i'll be using this to form my tube and this bridal satin and the measurement is 28 inches by 5 inches okay so now um i also have this bow if you don't know how to make it you should watch the video that's the click the link that's shown on your screen right now and watch the video of how to make this bow without using your needle okay and the measurement is 26 inches the big size bow okay so you would also be needing your hot glue gun okay then you need just about two pieces of um your office paint all right so now let's get started let's make this beautiful trending padded headband so i'll take this one that is for my tube this bridal satin material that i'll be using to form the front parts or the base of my padded headband and i'll fold it into two equal halves and the the right side will be facing each other while i fold and then i'll sew from one end of this bridal satin to the other end on my machine and i'll be back okay so i'm done stitching and i have turned it around okay so that the wrong side will now face each other with the right side of the bridal satin facing up so i'm going to take my fiber and insert into this bridal satin tube that i made okay so i'll keep inserting until it comes out as full as i want if you have something like um a stick a rod something light that you can just and and thin that you can just use to push it down if you don't want to use your finger the way i did then please feel free to do that so long as it is neat okay so i'll keep doing this until it comes out as full as i want and we will continue so keep watching and learning remember to practice lies So what I'm doing here is I'm measuring the head circumference and my head circumference is 23 inches. Yeah, so usually you get um, head circumferences of 20, 21, depending on how small or big it is, 22. Usually the largest is around 23 inches. That's what I'm using here. And then after getting the measurements, I stitched it, stitched two ends of this, my bridal satin that I've already put in some fiber in. I stitched the two ends together. So right now I will use my trimming, the lace trimming, and I will use my um, hot glue gun to start attaching my trimming on my tubular padded headband. So first of all, from the end of this, my headband, I'm going to measure about just four inches away from the end of my tubular padded satin headband okay i'll do that on both sides so that we know where to start um covering my trimming from where i'll start attaching the trimming okay so in this case the trimming is serving as an embellishment right it's serving as an embellishment for us okay so now I'll start attaching, like I said. So if you have watched this video up to this point, I want to believe that you're getting value. Thank you so much for watching up to this point. Please like this video. Please share, comment. Also feel free to ask any question that you may have and I'll do my best to answer in the comment section.
okay now if this is your first time of stopping by thank you so much for stopping by please subscribe and turn on the notification button so you won't miss out on my weekly diy videos that i drop every wednesday by 3 p.m and then if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back thank you thank you thank you thank you now even if you are not a returning subscriber but you are a returning watcher <laughs> Like you just stop by to watch and then you go back and you have not subscribed. What are you waiting for? Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So now I will just keep rolling and I'll do it neatly. Watch carefully and see where I'm attaching the hot glue on. I'm not putting it in the spaces. Okay. I'm putting it on the parts of my lace trimming that doesn't have the net showing okay so that would have a neat job so feel free to use something else as you're trimming feel free to you um just pad your your tube in such a way that you probably would just not want to use your trimming you know so feel free to play around it okay i would love to see your fascinators you can send them to me through the number that is showing on your screen right now it's a whatsapp number okay i'd love to see your own padded headband design so keep watching and learning remember to practicalize So next I'm going to fold my bridal satin into two equal halves, the right side facing each other and I'm going to sew but I will leave just about three inches at an edge. I will leave it open. I won't sew that part. You will find out what I will use that part for. So keep watching and learning. Remember to practicalize. At this point, I'm done stitching, and you know the opening I told you about on my bridal satin. I will be passing my bow, crinoline bow, through it, and watch how I'm going to go ahead with this. First of all, I will take this piece to my machine, and I'm going to stitch that part neatly. Watch how I'm going to fold it in, and then I will stitch, and I'll be back. So next, I'm going to form my bow. I'm done stitching that opening. And just watch how I'm going to form the pleats and get my beautiful bow.
So at this point, you can just use your hot glue gun to just uh, make sure you get a neat head piece, like cover up any part that you feel is not well aligned or well um, covered or that is sticking out and looks tacky. So I'm trying to make sure I get a neat job at the end of the day that my padded headband design comes out very neat, durable and beautiful, okay? At this point, I'll start attaching my feathers. So if you know that your UHU glue is strong enough, you can use it at this point. But I decided to go ahead and just use my hot glue instead. In this case, I feel it is stronger for me. Okay. So I'll just attach the feathers sparingly. You remember I showed the bunch at the time, but I did not use it up. I just used few feathers few pieces of feathers just about five pieces and my padded headband design came out very beautiful can you see so if you would love to be part of the two weeks intensive fascinator making training please send me a message on the whatsapp number that is showing on your screen right now yeah through the whatsapp number you can reach me or you can just say you are interested in the comment section and we'll take it up from there. Now, make sure that when you are attaching your feathers, that you attach them neatly and it should be hidden. The stem or the tip at which you are attaching your hot glue should not stay in your padded head piece and it should be well covered and neat, okay? Talking about feathers, I have a feather training. If you would love to be part of that training, just comment feathers and we'll pick it up from there. In that training, you learn how to make various kinds of feather fascinators and how to cut various shapes of feathers and lots more. So this is our beautiful padded head piece. Don't you just love it? Don't you just love it? Thank you for watching.